G'day folks and welcome back to another World of Tanks replay with the new plaid. It's Betty here and this time around it's not actually me driving the tank, it's my good pal Grizzle Guts. Uh, I'm actually in the platoon with him but uh, as you'll see shortly I don't do too well in this battle. So the T67, basically the best stat pattern at tier 5, possibly in the game, hard to say really. It's um, just a great TD really. Especially when you're top tier, it's stealthy, it's fast, it's got a great gun, and you can just rip apart tanks without them seeing what you're doing, which is what Grizzles is doing here to the Matilda right now. I'm trying to help him out, as you can see, sitting right beside him, getting myself spotted. But in the end, we take out the Matilda before the Matilda even spots us. A few more tanks trying to come across the field. That's the, I guess, the other reason why the T67 is such a good stat pattern. You come across teams, not that this one is, but you often come across teams at tier 5 and below uh, where there's a lot of new people to the game and they make mistakes uh, in terms of map reading, in terms of uh, routes that they take with the tanks that more experienced players don't make. Um, but having said that, the enemy team that we are playing is actually pretty decent. They've got um, a couple of players there whose XTE rating is in the green, which means they're, I think, in the top 90 odd percent of players in those vehicles. So that suggests they're pretty good. Uh, and speaking of green players making mistakes, here I go on a ludicrous charge. So in front of me is a T67. Instead of holding back, I charge forward try to take a position with a protection from the building, so the T-67 is not shooting me anymore, but across to the left there, there's the IKB and the SU, and I've taken a couple of hits unnecessarily, really. Um, Grizz is pushing into town, and he's taking some hits that he probably shouldn't be taking either. But the team's up 5-4. There's a lot of action here, actually. There's a lot of fighting going on. We're trying to trade as much as we can, but actually T-34, or Type T-34, it is trading with a T-67 is not a great deal. I've taken a lot of hits now, I'm down to my last 200 health. Grizz is doing a lot better, he's got 270 health. Pushing into town a little bit further, there's a T28 in front of him. It's an easy target for the T67. Actually, to be honest, I thought I died really quickly in this replay, but looking at it, I've survived two and a half minutes, so that's better than most scrub lords do, I suppose. <laughs> Grizz is going hunting now why not, but uh, the enemy tank dies before we can get the shot onto him. I'm pushing further into town, you can see with my map position there, scooting around those buildings trying to find the TDs that are up on the hill. And there's the T-28 again, who is about to die, because shooting the side of a T-28 is like throwing bricks at a barn. Very easy. And now here's probably the last dangerous tank on the enemy team. And very dangerous, you can see, taking a huge chunk of health out of Grizz, but Grizz's DPM is good enough that he should be able to take him out. I'm in behind trying to uh, distract him as much as possible so that Grizz can stay alive, and Grizz picks up the kill. His sixth kill already, and we're just three and a half minutes into the game. These are the sorts of ridiculous things you can do in a T67, especially top tier. You can charge in 1250 damage so far, six kills, it's barely been four minutes of battle time. And there's still three more enemy tanks to kill. Although, Chris does only have four health. <laughs> now, I don't know exactly what did it, but I've clearly died somewhere. Probably artillery would be my guess. Um, at least the OI XP got me. It's a bit hard to say. Oh, and speaking of artillery, there's one up close and personal, but looking the wrong way. Basically, dead. <laughs> one artillery left to go. And I think that would be the bishop. Bishop is probably... Okay, so the leaf is the best tier 5 artillery. The leaf something or other Frenchy one. Um, the bishop is probably the second best. Um, and it's readily available, so for your standard player, it's probably the best, I think. It's got a great reload, it's really accurate. It's slow and stupid, but here we go. Here's a shot coming in. Oh, Grizz misses the first shot. Artillery! <laughs> Just doesn't quite get him, and now it's an easy kill for Grizz. Who's going to pick up 
what would be a Radley Walters, I think, if it wasn't for the fact that he was in a tier 5 tank. Actually, maybe you can't get Radley Walters in tier 5, maybe it's tier 4 and below you can't. So there you go, 8 kills, 1750 damage, and just over 5 minutes of battle time. And indeed, a high caliber, a top gun, and I do believe that's a Radley Walters to go along with the Ace Tanker badge. And then looking at the team stats, it's clear that Grit has carried the team in this one, picking up 1750 damage, a hell of a lot more than my paltry 730. And then looking at the full stats, it's a reasonably profitable game, 30,000 plus credits. Huge XP bonuses though, and that's the uh, benefit of the personal reserves. Uh, 11,000 odd crew experience is great. And that's the end of another Noob Player World of Tanks replay. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up, and we will see you either on the battlefield or in the next replay.